Nicholas Bross, he has just like been coming up with the craziest instruments. And this last one, this last one that he came out with is, is a ruler. So he takes this metal ruler and and he samples it at different uh, at different pitches, creates an instrument out of it. So uh, so yeah, it's it's just nuts. Um, it's just nuts. Let's see, uh, let's see the the um, I think it's in percussion tonal. Yeah. So this is the rulers here. There we go. There you are. Just adjust that. So this is the sound paint engine that we're familiar with here. And so you can see there's like four different layers here. Um, it's like boing, but it's pitched. So he would he would sample one note, then he would adjust the uh, adjust the length of it in order to get a different pitch, then he would sample that. And then you pair it with the uh, all the sound paint effects. Yeah, so let's check this out. This is uh It's a ruler. It's a ruler. This is a ruler. It's crazy. It is crazy. And listen to the low end on that. Yeah, these headphones are like rattling. Okay, <laughs> let's check this out. So you can see all the effects. You've got it going through EQs, uh, the lexicon reverb, the chorus, and then the delays. And of course the art. Secret! Good to see you. It's it's nuts, and uh, this is uh, reversed, little reversed action going on here. Yeah, this is sound paint, and this is the rulers. And, and it's, it's, it just goes to show you what you can do with something very simple, and then you can take it into the sampler, and it becomes something just totally. You have all of these tools inside of Sound Paint to do all these crazy things. Um, Turn the delay feedback down. So you've got a, two different delays, a digital delay and a bucket brigade, bucket brigade device. Let's see, bass. Metal ruler, a metal ruler. I mean, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, so I've got. Uh, okay, now this is using. Um, okay, this is using uh, something from the uh, Neil, the Nicholas Bross uh, Cora and the rulers, and I, I like this. I like this one.
you add that ruler to add that little percussive element. The delays, whenever I hear a sound with delays that are kind of, it kind of creates those little, little rhythms. Yeah, you've got this delays, and uh, that's just what it just what propels, just what propels things. Okay, and I want to show you um, the Bazantar. It's bass. It's in the bass category. Yeah, the Bazantar, and this is um, a huge bass. Uh, and it has 29 resonating strings, four dedicated drone strings. Uh, it is just huge. So bass. And so we've got the bazantar. And this is uh, paired with uh, beautiful noises. Now this is a bass, but you can use it almost like a cello or... It's got such a really nice tone to it. And this is using... Um, the morphing layer is actually some prayer recordings. And then they morph it with the uh, brass. It's just a rich sounding instrument. Um, okay, let's see. I've got um, percussive drone. So this is tapped and sustained, and then they're morphing these together. And they, again, morphing in sound paint means they take the, the sound from like one of the sources, and it sort of granulates them or combinates them or whatever you want to call it, but the characteristics of the waves get married together, and it creates a different, um, a different sound, and you can adjust that in this um, control panel. So this is being morphed into the sustain. Let's just go all the way over to the tapped.
shimmer verb. Now let's go to the sustains. And the mod wheel is adjusting the filter and the amount of shimmer verb. Shimmer verb has got to be my favorite. MB, MBC, MBC. It just does something to the sound. Okay, so this is um, Renaissance times. Again, we're using the tap. And we can just morph these. That's a lot of fun. Sultry. So these are Arc, Arco. You can hear that bowing. Really cool. And then uh, Bazin Tarp. <laughs> Let's see. Just kind of tapping the thing. Okay, one of the cool things is, let's see, let's turn on the hidden gems. And yeah, so we've got a 1990 C7 and Bazantar uh, layer. So it puts the the bowed along with the uh, with the grand piano. Paired the C7 with the Bazantar Bode.
Here we go. Man. I know. I know that the winter has passed. When I see the flowers come up from the ground and I look and I see the purple flowers staring at me those were my mother's flowers she planted for me it may be cold right now but it won't be cold always because I see my mama's flowers coming up from the ground it tells me of hope that winter's not gonna hang around when I see my mama's flowers coming up. Yeah. What's gonna happen? But when I was playing that, um, man, what? Um, because out in the backyard, uh, let me turn the. I like the reverb. <laughs> but out in the backyard, um, my mom um, gave us some seeds, and so we threw them out in the in the very back of the yard. And it's like every year. About this time, you see them starting to come up and there's the most beautiful purple flowers that, um, that come up. And it's just like, um, it's like an every year, it's like it reminds me of mom. And I'm so grateful to have had a praying mother that uh, just really, really just poured a, so much love into me. Uh, and my brothers, my family. And... Yeah. We've got to know that winter cannot hang around forever. That the flowers, they know, they know, they start coming up because they feel something is changing in the ground, that the earth is changing, the seasons change, and it knows that it's time to come up. You cannot stop the spring from coming. That's what I look forward to, is seeing those purple flowers. Um, purple flowers, it's just beautiful. Wow, yeah. You know, let me tell you a funny story, a secret, yeah. My mom was something else. I mean, grew up in the uh, eastern part of Kentucky, um, just just was so full of, um, full of love and believed in, believed in me, believed in, uh, yeah. And the scripture says, you know, Jesus, Jesus said uh, in one of the uh, scriptures, he said, when you go, when you go to pray, don't, uh, don't make all this big hubbub about, uh, about your praying. Just go into your prayer closet uh, and, uh, you know, go into your prayer closet, go to somewhere secret. Uh, and uh, when you're in secret, I'll reward you openly. And you know what my mom did? She literally took me and my brother uh, in a, in the closet down at the bottom of the stairs. And that was her prayer closet. I mean, it was her prayer closet. And and so we would go into her prayer closet with her. And uh, that's what we grew up with. We grew up hearing our mother praying for us. And uh, what a great blessing uh, that that was. I mean, I'd never forget it. Uh, just just a beautiful, um, beautiful time, beautiful memories, beautiful memories. All right, man, it's been a beautiful time together. Uh, I never know where these things are going to wind up, but uh, I know it's always going to be something very special. Make sure you check out all the links in the description below. I want to, again, thank everybody for joining me today. And um, always, if there's something that you've seen on the channel that you like, uh, and there's something that you would like to see, uh, please drop a comment below. 
And I so appreciate all the love and the, the support that you guys have given me. It means a lot. And uh, I will, oh, excuse me. And I will look forward to seeing you again on the next live stream as we continue our journey discovering the joyful sound. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thanks.